Late Thursday night, Jesus is taken into custody by a Jewish mob. The end goal is crucifixion, but the Jews can't crucify people. Only the Roman Empire has that power. So between capture and crucifixion, there will be six separate trials. None of them will obey the laws, and none of them will bring justice. From the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus is taken to the house of Annas. The first of Jesus' trials is this informal questioning before Annas. Annas was the previous high priest, and he is the father-in-law to the current high priest. After questioning Jesus about his disciples and teachings, Jesus is struck by one of the officers. All of these events are recorded in John 18, 12 through 23. Annas has Jesus bound and sent to his son-in-law Caiaphas, where a second informal and illegal trial will begin. As current high priest, Caiaphas conducts further questions where Jesus is subjected to increasing violence. Under cloak of darkness, the Jewish council and the high priest present false witness after false witness. The witnesses contradict each other until two men come forward and state that Jesus had said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and rebuild it in three days. Incorrectly quoted and taken wildly out of context, this statement is considered enough evidence against him. Having gained what they needed for the next day, Matthew records what happens next. Then the high priest tore his robes and said, he has blasphemed. What further need do we have of witnesses? Behold, you have now heard the blasphemy. What do you think? And they answered, He deserves death. And then they spat in his face and beat him with their fists. And others slapped him and said, Prophesy to us, you Christ, who is the one who hit you? As Jesus is being beaten and mocked, Peter stands outside in the courtyard where he denies knowing Jesus three times. Out of fear, Peter denies his Lord and in shame he eventually flees weeping bitterly. Jesus is once again alone. As daybreak strikes on Friday morning, the Jewish council, the Sanhedrin, formally meet to bring charges against Jesus. This is trial number three. This is merely a formality. They already have chosen the witnesses and beaten him, but it is a formality that serves a purpose. It prepares them to bring a formal request for crucifixion to the Roman governor, Pontius Pilate. Then the whole body of them got up and brought him before Pilate, and they began to accuse him, saying, We found this man misleading our nation and forbidding to pay taxes to Caesar and saying that he himself is Christ, a king. The Jewish leadership attempted to have Jesus crucified for treason, saying that he was trying to be a king in place of Caesar. Of course, nothing of the sort was true, and Jesus even told Pilate, My kingdom is not of this world. In the course of questioning Jesus, Pilate finds out that he is from Galilee, a territory governed by Herod, and since Herod just happened to be in Jerusalem at the time, Pilate sends Jesus to him. If you're keeping count, Jesus' trial before Herod is trial number five. It is still early Friday morning, and Jesus has been kept awake all night, beaten, mocked, and dragged bound all across the city of Jerusalem. Herod will question Jesus. His soldiers will mock and mistreat him, strip him down, and dress him in a scarlet robe in an attempt to mock him and steal his dignity. Herod eventually sends Jesus back to Pontius Pilate for his second trial before Pilate and sixth trial in total. Pilate doesn't believe Jesus to be guilty of anything and attempts to have Jesus released. Pilate then took Jesus and scourged him, and the soldiers twisted together a crown of thorns and put it on his head and put a purple robe on him, and they began to come up to him and say, Hail, King of the Jews, and to give him slaps in the face. Pilate came out again and said to them, Behold, I am bringing him out to you so that you may know that I find no guilt in him. Jesus then came out wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. Pilate said to them, Behold the man. So when the chief priests and the officers saw him, they cried out saying, Crucify! Crucify! The mob's cries of crucify him, crucify him, are too much for Pilate who fears the popular vote and civil unrest. The decision is made. Jesus will be put to death by crucifixion.